back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys something that you've probably never seen before on YouTube. I personally have never seen it and I don't mean it in a way like so unique or whatever but I'm just saying I haven't seen it and it's something that I thought about just on the fly as I do a lot of my videos really and then I just write them down and bring them to you guys. So anyway all that to say I'm going to be showing you guys how I intentionally maintain frizz on my locks. I know what y'all are thinking. Why would she intentionally bring about frizz to her locks? Reason being, I don't mind the frizziness and I actually really like it. I think it adds character and I want to prolong that and keep it for as long as I can. I feel like I'm explaining myself to y'all and I really don't have to explain myself to anybody but just to give y'all a little bit of, uh, you know, reasoning as to why I'm doing it but no other reason aside from I like what I like so I do what I want and that's it as all of y'all should but <laughs> anyway getting back to my locks I'm gonna take these pins out so I could just get right into showing you guys what I do and mind you I don't do this often I might do it every two weeks or just whenever so I'll just start off with my locks as is and I'll take you guys already have seen this, I'm sure, my 360 spray bottle. This one just has water. That's the one I use every day. And I'll start off by just spraying my locks. If you guys notice, I'm doing a lot of pumps. That's because it's running low on water, so I have to... And of course, water would get in my eye. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like barely anything left, but it's enough to show you guys. So once it's damp, not too wet, but once you feel like your locks are pretty, you know, wet evenly or dampened evenly, I should say, the next step is actually really simple. Really simple, but kind of important. So as you guys know, or may or may not know, if you've seen my previous uh, lock videos, like a few videos back, I actually undid or took out the ends of my locks. Did that for a little while until I just got tired of it and just started to let my ends lock back up again. So as you guys can see, this is the results of that. So my ends are already frizzier just from doing that. So you wanna use a bore bristle brush, but a soft one, like one that's not super rigid or hard or anything like that. Maybe not too, too soft, because if it's too soft, then it probably won't be able to do what I'm about to show y'all right now. And you wanna make sure that your locks are dampened before you do this, so not to cause any breakage. Basically, you just want to pick up a small section or whatever, like a, just a handful of locks and I'm going to be looking at the viewfinder for a little bit, but um, you just want to gently just not, you know, rake it through it. And I know people do that when like their locks are more mature, like lock brushing to um, loosen out any lint or anything like that. But you don't want to do it that hard, which is why you want a soft bristle brush and you just do it gently. But you can do it for the whole length of the lock if you want to. To me, this just gently loosens up frizzy hairs if that makes sense or loosens hairs just enough along the shaft of the lock so basically the goal is to cause a little bit of frizz but not totally undo your locks unless that's what you're trying to do like when i intentionally detangled my ends like i used a detangling brush to do that because i wanted my ends to be out now that's not the case like i'm not looking to do that like i want my hair to still stay locked but as i said i really enjoy my frizz so i just want to you know lift out the frizziness a little bit more and again, I haven't seen anybody do this. I just randomly thought about it and I was just like, you know what, like I like this frizz. How can I make it a little bit, you know, make it last a little longer? And this is what I came up with. <laughs> and I was just like, shit, somebody else might want to do this. Somebody else who probably thinks along the lines of I, as I do, might also want to keep their frizz, keep the frizz around for a little bit longer. So, um, and then I was just like, why the hell not? Let me make a video on it. <laughs> so you just want to keep doing that. And again, as you guys can see, I'm just doing this. 
like all the way down the locks not like fully brushing it just like you know kind of just beating the frizz up out of the lock like literally lifting up some of the hairs just to make it a little more frizzy but as i said you're not taking out the lock not discouraging the locking process to the point of you won't have locks hence why you want to use a, a soft bristle brush so i just keep doing that and again i don't do this every day because i feel like if you do do it every day that's when it'll probably disturb it you know the locking process but and that's another thing too i'm not super you know like oh my god i need to leave my locks alone and let them just lock up and do their thing like i love locks but i don't mind like doing shit to them i don't really care for color too much right now i mean maybe in the future you never know but like i don't mind doing stuff to them as far as like like this like i don't i don't that doesn't you know bother me it ain't that serious to me it is not that serious to me and as you guys can see my locks are clearly still intact but the frizz is just like lifted up a little bit more i don't know i think it adds character i like it do it to your locks if you want to don't if you don't <laughs> That's the moral of this story. Yeah, and that's basically what I do every once in a blue, just to lift out the frizz a little bit. So other than that, I let them do their thing. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a super random little thing that I do to my locks just to keep the frizz alive, pretty much. If you would try this, if you wouldn't, let me know why, why not. As I said, don't take things too seriously. Don't take your locks too seriously. Take care of them. Not condoning, not taking care of your hair. Definitely do take care of your hair, but my personal advice would just be have fun. Have fun, do what you wanna do. And on that note, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload another video. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. I quit my job on a Monday. I told my boss I'm the boss now. He told me he don't give a fuck, so I told him he can sit the fuck down.